Healthcare is a huge sector of our economy, approximately one seventh. And one of the problems is, as essential it is to our well being, healthcare costs grow far faster than any other part of the economy and really run the risk of crowding out all sorts of other demands on scarce resources. So it gets to the question why do they grow so quickly? Now, I think we all have a familiar experience of buying a toy for a child, getting the box home, and then discovering some assembly required. And this is actually a parallel to the healthcare situation because when we get the box home, we've got all the parts, but we don't have a system. And it's the assembly of the parts into a system which creates the fun for the kid. And healthcare is very much a non system where there's a lot of parts, but they don't come together well. And it's for a variety of very good historical reasons that doctors and nurses and pharmacists train within disciplines and get great expertise within those disciplines and continue to practice and reinforce those disciplines. But what's missing from healthcare is practicing those disciplines in service to a system much larger than the individual expertise. Now, as someone at MIT who studied engineering, things about system engineering, this is a classic system engineering problem. Is if you think about how engineers have addressed exactly the same problem, um, they've solved on it and over the last many decades. So students still come in desirous of being an electrical engineer, computer scientist, mechanical engineer, whatever else it happens to be. But they understand from freshman year on that as deep and as profound their expertise within their discipline, their discipline as an individual is best expressed in, in design and creation of systems much larger than themselves. And in fact, the, the MIT experience is that a lot of the value we create is not just within departments, but it's within labs and centers where people with many different disciplines from many different backgrounds come together. So healthcare right now is lacking that system thinking, but it's perhaps solvable. And I think there are probably two or three major triggers on this. So one is, providing healthcare organizations with the motive to do the integration and worry about how the pieces come together. So currently what we do is we reward individual practitioners for individual activities. What we don't do is pay and measure and reward on the experience a patient has going through all the different uh, touch points across all the different disciplines. So there's the motivational measurement piece. And then there's the practice piece. So, Right now, when our engineering students come in, they train and they learn within departments, but then they have projects and other activities and other experiences which are cross-disciplinary. Currently missing, but which would really be essential to help healthcare move along, is that doctors and nurses and pharmacists not only train within their specialty and their discipline, but part of their training is done cross-functionally, interdi interdisciplinary, so they understand how the pieces come together in a system when they're junior, how to express their expertise in a system, and as they get more senior, actually how to manage systems, both to design them and operate them, and then finally to improve them.